Grimbrand, Chowark in progress. Well, yeah, progress of a sort. So let's start. Clear. Um, yeah, you wouldn't normally have these many guys on there. a little bit so we can uh, hear ourselves think yes so well yeah you can see the test level obviously is for testing there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm still testing like so the guys don't die very easily whereas normally they would die in a couple of shots they're not really taking cover quite as uh, quite properly yet but hey you know I just wanted to fix some of the things that were um, obviously wrong and most of the things I actually need to get the, the systems up and running are, are in place now so the cover system is kind of there I can tweak that a lot um, the squads now inform each other when they see a contact um, rather the squads they, the people in the squad do um, I might propagate that further up as well we'll see um, so basically they share threats, uh, I've still got to hook up the whiz cracky thing that Chris added so that they, they can respond to um, bullet fire and stuff but that's a pretty trivial thing to add. Um, so right now yeah they're just two squads, one squad's trying to attack the other, they're basically attacking each other's end, that doesn't quite sound right does it? They're both attacking a point in the other squads spawn location essentially and um, so as they die they're being respawned just so I can test because obviously I want to see if the stability is good and that kind of thing so usually what I'll do is I'll leave this running for a few hours and see if we get any crashes or memory leaks or any of that kind of stuff um, it's not a bad stress test actually I've noticed there's been a few crashes that I've had occasionally with um, the inventory system for instance but Chris has redone that now anyway so I'm not really that bothered about it too much but here we go you know it's uh, it's shooty it's bangy it's shooty bangy so it should mean that we've got at least some AI guys to shoot and be shot by um, yes. So once a few of these uh, guys at the top die, then the rest of these bottom ones will push up a bit, and they are actually a little bit kind of forceful usually. Actually thinking about it, I've just figured out what's going on with it. Let's just stop that one for a second and try it again. Yeah. So every time you play, obviously, you get a completely different set of behaviour, really. Normally you wouldn't have this many people in a squad either. Actually, let's just take that down now. Might as well have something representative here. Um, yeah, so let's just say six for each side. And try that. Probably a bit more squad like, isn't it? There is the issue of a guy standing in the middle of a field shooting at somebody, but you know, hey, can't have everything. So they do try and push up a bit. So you can see uh, the test level is kind of there. So one of the next bits I'm going to do is throw all of this setup stuff into um, a proper level like John's ship level or one of the kill houses or something crazy like that 
and see if it still holds up. There's no reason why it shouldn't, but hey, you never know. So there we go, we can have some AI shooties. Still a whole bunch of stuff to implement and improve, of course. Not least of which is some of the uh, handling for things like ammo states and that kind of thing, because currently we don't really have it yet. You have it as a player, but the yeah, AI doesn't know what, what its ammo count is and that kind of thing. Um, what else will, will we be doing? Well, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, really. This is like, you know, trying to get the basics all sorted out. It seems like it's mostly working and functional right now, so that's not a bad uh, position to be at, but, yeah. Baby steps and all. We shall work on this over the coming months to try and make it feel a little bit more squaddy. Um... We could do with actually moving the things, uh, you know, the sort of squad agents together and that kind of thing. It's all about choreography with squad behaviours, I think. And now they're just waiting for each other to do something. Somebody will break the stalemate at some point. I'm just kind of surprised that they don't see each other over there. Ooh, that front guy's getting a bit... Ooh, right, okay. He's murdered. Yeah, and Chris has got to put prone in so we can do the proning and things as well. I'll probably add some kind of suppression system, I think, for the uh, AI. Feels like it should have that. You know, like, right now they just take damage and keep going. Um, but really, if they're under fire and having the whiz bangs and all that kind of stuff, they should probably uh, be running for cover a tad quicker. That kind of thing. So anyway, there you go. I don't want to spend too long looking at this. It's kind of silly, but hey. Hopefully you'll see that it's coming along a little bit, at least. So... Next time, I'll get rid of the stupid green dots and the pink dots, and I shall uh, throw it into a proper level and see how it goes. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. If I can actually stop this video, of course. No, I can't. Thanks, guys. See you later.